there's a new national curriculum. The UK government has made some big changes to instill essential knowledge in children at school from a younger age. So, how is this going to affect your child's education? Well, in English, there will be a deeper focus on standard English fundamentals. So reading will be taught using phonics strategies. From Key Stage 2, that's age 7 onwards, children will have set spelling lists and they'll learn how to plan, to draft and then to revise their writing. While they also learn good handwriting and how to commit poetry to memory. While in maths, the focus really is on mental arithmetic and learning the basics at a younger age. Your child will now learn to count to 100 by the age of 5. They'll have to know all of their tables up to 12 times 12 by the age of 9. And then long division and algebra, early algebra, by the age of 10. There's also a lot more emphasis on fractions and decimals. For geography, there's a greater focus on learning locations of places, both in the UK and the rest of the world. There will be plenty of map work. The new science curriculum focuses on acquiring scientific knowledge and language. The aim by the time your child is 10 is that she or he will be able to work independently, make accurate measurements and keep good observational records. The aim for all of this is that we will have knowledgeable and capable scientists for the future. Computing is a brand new subject that aims to give children age 5 plus the basics of computer science through writing and testing simple computer programs. Internet safety, you'll be relieved to hear, is also a priority with every year group in school. History topics will now be introduced in chronological order from the ancient civilizations through to the Norman invasion of 1066 and children will be studying important figures and historical events. While learning another language like French, German, Italian, Mandarin or Spanish is now compulsory for all children from age 7, children will also be expected to speak and present with accurate pronunciation and read and write with basic grammar. At school, competitive sports are back as the focus in physical education and in music, alongside being able to play an instrument from the age of seven, they'll be studying some of the great composers and how to write music. Although this brand new curriculum does set very high expectations for every child, the government says that it set these targets so that every child has a much higher potential for success in the future. So, how can you help your child through this transition? Well, I would strongly recommend DK's primary school resources and all of their fun activities. I've been involved with DK for very many years now and I think all the work they do is excellent.